What's up folks, SCP dude here again, welcome in another video, and as you already see we are again at Texas Workshop who asked me for some additional help. So they want to start recording in their SCPS-1 system some additional information about the assets, and it's not about the pure master data. Let me show you the real example. We are now in the dino room where performance activities are undertaken for vehicles, mostly for the sport cars. I'm now standing before one of the crucial and horribly expensive assets and to be honest, I forgot its name, let's call it dino device. What do I mean by expensive? I mean, this device when it's brand new costs $10,000 but regular maintenance can be just $100 for two months. There are two main indicators which can tell us the maintenance is needed, it's working hours or so operating hours of the device and current temperature. Every 1000 working hours a mechanic should inspect the device. If the temperature is higher than 75 degrees, the device does not work properly, right? So this information Texas Workshop wants to keep in the system. This approach, this maintenance type is called condition-based maintenance. If you want to know more about it and other types, check out the description of this video. Alright, so this requirement can be fulfilled with standard SAPS for an asset management solution. We will use so-called measuring points and measurement documents. I have a quick slide to show you just a little bit of theory. Alright, we have the dyno device. Do you know how is it reflected in the system? If you follow the channel already, you know the answer. It's an equipment. And it has the following no equipment number in SAP S4 HANA. Now, any information like size, weight, manufacturer and so on, it's our master data. On top of that, we can have, for instance, measuring points our indicators. In our case it's operating hours which we retrieve from this screen over here so every time techni technician can see the screen and note down the operating the current operating hours of this device or it can be temperature to be specific surface temperature as I showed you here we measure with some additional device the just the temperature of the surface right and actually these two objects are also part of master data of an equipment of course they are not obligatory cool once these measuring points are set up our people can record the readings in the system which will be reflected as measurement documents every reading is a single document like you see for instance two days ago our technicians enter uh, the surface temperature 40 degrees, then 10 hours ago again 40 degrees and so on. The same happened to the operating hours. And every single reading one more time it's a single measurement document. Before we go to SAP, one important thing. We got two types of measuring points. It can be a regular one or a counter. By regular one, I mean the readings which you record, they can repeat, like the temperature for instance. You see, two days ago, our technicians entered the reading of 40 degrees, 10 hours ago, the surface was still 40 degrees, so the temperature of the surface was still 40 degrees, and for instance, 10 hours ago, it was 85, but Two seconds ago it was 5 degrees, so the readings can repeat, they can be lower, they can be higher, right? And when it comes to counter, these values will always grow. So operating hours are also perfect example of counter. So we bought a machine, it was brand new, so on the 1st of March it was just in one hour of usage, right? Then one week ago on 8th of March, it was already 25 hours. So it means during a week we used it for 24 hours. And then 1st of April, it's already 100 hours. And then in October, in total, it's 950 hours. The value always grows, right? 
it will never be lower than it was before. Another great example is car's millet, right? It always grows. It's time to prepare everything in the system. For this purpose, we will use, of course, SAP Fiori Launchpad. The equipment is already created, but we can check it out right now. I could use the application Find Technical Object, but I will do it another way around. I will launch the application Create Maintenance Request, because I want to show you something. We go to the field Technical Object, where we have both functional locations and equipment list. I select this icon and I type in Dyno device, in my case. The equipment has been found and what I can do right now, I just click this link over here. So in a nice way, we have a hierarchy structure of the asset. We see that Dyno device is installed under Dyno room, which is under TINAP Diagnostics functional location, which is part of course, Texas workshop. Of course, we don't want to select this, we just leave this screen. We can also display an object over here with this app Find Technical Object. If I type in Dyno device and press enter, I have it here, but I don't have this structure. I have all the details about the, the equipment and so on. So let's leave it. Let's go to the main screen. So the equipment number is the prerequisite if we want to start with the measuring points. So these indicators of the temperature and operating hours. We go to the application called Create Measuring Point and here we have to select the first measuring point counter. In our case, we will start with the measuring point. So we will do, do it for the temperature. Reference object type, in our case, it's a technical object, which is the Dyno device. So I select it and I will find it right now. Dyno. We select the equipment, the first one, and we press continue at the bottom of the screen. Now we have to enter the details. First of all, what is it? So I will go to description field and enter the just a description of this indicator of this measuring point. This will be mm, temperature of the surface. Measuring position field, it's like a hint for the user where the measurement should be taken. So in our case, it's just the front side of the device. Now we have to select, of course, the measuring point category, which is obligatory. In our case, just the M measuring point general. To take any readings, the system has to know what values you take. For the temperature, these are Celsius degrees. And to do that, we need so-called characteristic. So I created it up front and now I can select it from this list. I enter the EEM and set EEM these two characteristics I created for this example. So you have to do the same thing. Create a characteristic with uh, the unit of measure like Celsius. For the second one, it will be hours or minutes. Uh, you can define the ranges of the values. Basically, you need this characteristic with this unit of measure. So we select the second one. I press enter somewhere and we see the unit has been populated. We can save the measuring point and go with another one. We go to the main screen and create another measuring point, this time for the operating hours. And this is something new here, because temperature, as you saw on the, also on the slide, every hour, every second, the temperature can be different. It can be lower, it can be higher. But for the operating hours, these will always be increasing. So it means it's so-called counter. So I select it and select the technical object, of course, the dyno as, as well. Dyno. I press enter and we are inside. Description. Let's call it current working time. Minutes. Position. There, will, there is a small screen, uh, mini screen on the, on the device. So let's make it like mini screen, which is on the left side of this asset. Characteristic, let's find it. EM machine time, working minutes of a machine. I press enter. Of course, measuring point category has to be entered. Minutes, measuring point is counter. We have this checkbox, it's really important. 
so all right and we just save it and we are good to go we got the master data prepared now let's use it in some business process there are many scenarios you can plan the job for technicians that they need to take the readings or they can do it without an order just like a part of the routine they are just passing by and yeah decided to take the readings or they did some side job next to the asset and decided to enter the temperature so there are many options it all depends on your scenario the work order creation part you already know from my other video i will just quickly show it to you we go to the app find maintenance order i will try to find it with this keyword dyno and we have dyno device inspection this is the description of the order on the header level we go to the details i jump to the operations and we see two operations first one take their temperature and hours readings so this one is relevant for this video second one perform inspection mechanical visual all right but this one is um, the most relevant for us right now let's go back to the main menu and switch the persona all right now you see the screen has changed a bit because now i'm using a tablet it's my ipad mini and i'm a technician who wants to perform the job and take the readings so the temperature and the operating hours of the dyno device for this purpose all we need is just go to the application called perform maintenance jobs if you need to see the full process from order creation and so on i covered it in my other video where i discussed phase-based maintenance so i totally recommend it to you all right let's go to the app let's go inside and we see three tasks assigned to us because it's assigned to a Dan SAP dude, so that's directly assigned to me. As I told you, we will perform this one, take the temperature and hours readings of the Dyno device, so let's select it. And here, of course, we have the details, like what is the amount of time, what are the components, but for this one, we don't have any components. What we will do now, we will add the measurements, and for this purpose, we need this button. So I click it right now, add measurements. And we see we have two measuring points over here from the master data, which we created in the previous step. We also have a column previous reading, but we didn't enter any measurements yet, so we will do it right now. Let's say the temperature of the surface is 45 degrees, and the current working time in minutes is 150 minutes. We can of course change the date and the time, but we will keep it as default right now let's save it the screen has been updated we see the previous readings and of course we can add another ones like after one hour or two hours we can update it or we just add it right now and change the time of course all right that was actually it when it comes to technician job so it was like two clicks and we are done with the work with the tablet let's switch now to the supervisor or maintenance planner persona now as a maintenance supervisor, planner or just an office guy, I can display the measurements in the system with some other application. For this purpose, I will use this one, change measurement documents. Of course, we won't change anything, but I find this one useful. It's not an Fiori app, it's like a web GUI app, let's say. I will enter the equipment number and click execute at the bottom of the screen. And we see we have our two readings, so 45 degrees and 150 minutes for the second measuring point. All right, cool. As I told you at the beginning, this reading can be part of your condition-based maintenance. Of course, you need to set up a maintenance plan beforehand. These readings can be also taken automatically via sensors, external systems, etc. Of course, you need more effort and your dev team to help you with this one. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comment section. Check out the description. Spread the easy SAP knowledge further and see you in another video.